where you'll find the Butterfly Garden as well. Uh, now, we've been talking on the show then about waste and recycling. Shall we talk about naked shopping? No, it's not what you're thinking. It's not going around the uh, supermarket with only your birthday suit on. Rachel Strauss is the founder of Zero Waste Week and starts by describing naked shopping. Yeah, well, it's not quite as controversial as it sounds initially. <laughs> it's, it's really about buying your food without, without excess packaging. Okay, so that sounds a simple concept, <laughs> but it must be quite difficult to do when you go around the supermarket, your fruit and veg are often in punnets or in plastic bags. So how do you get around that? Okay, well, I think you'll find that in most supermarkets now, you can buy some of the fruit and veg loose. So you can always take your own bags, which you can reuse, or even just put things straight onto the um, checkout. That's good for big items like a melon or something like that that really doesn't need a bag. For us, we look at the type of packaging that perhaps we can recycle. So it's not literally buying without packaging, but it's buying without the packaging that will end up in landfill. So looking for things that come in tins or jars that can then be either reused or recycled. What are the types of packaging that we should look for that we can't recycle that will go to landfill? I think one of the most common are the black plastic trays that things like convenience meals come in and uh, film as well, packaging. So things like uh, biscuits and cakes and packaging like that is, is very difficult to recycle, especially around here. Uh, is that the, the, the plastic wrapping? Is that what do you mean? Yeah. Yes, that's right. So um, on, on all the confectionery, the chocolate bars, packets of crisps, all the things that we love to put in our children's lunch boxes, um, that's very difficult. And most convenience meals as well, the things you pop into the microwave or uh, wrapped in plastic that we can't do anything with at the moment. So what can you do if you really do want to do naked shopping? Mm. Um, I've heard of people who will just take off all the packaging that they don't need and leave it at the till. Is this something you've done and what's the kind of reaction that you get? I have done that once or twice. I I love the concept of it, but I don't like to annoy the people in the queue behind me by, te by taking up too much time. Um, but when I've done it, I've, I have had favourable experience with the person on the checkout but I do know that a couple of times um, the packaging has just ended up in the bin after I've walked out. Uh, interestingly I bought, th this is nothing to do with food, but I bought a lamp from Argos and it was wrapped in oh, it was like miles of, of packaging and the guy there took it away from me and he said that we could recycle it there. Um, so I didn't have to bring all that packaging home. I suppose at least it's leaving it for the supermarkets or the shops or whoever it is, and they're thinking, oh, right, well, it's our responsibility to get rid of that now. Mm -hmm. So although they might not be recycling it, at least they're they're having to handle it, so they might think again about using it in the future. Is that the idea, do you think? I think so, and I, and I think uh, if, if enough of us did exactly that, say all on one day, then they'd be left with a rather a large mountain of rubbish that they'd have to pay for to be collected and then I think we could have some serious uh, impact. So what's your advice to people? What would you say to them as they're doing their weekly shop to try and take home less packaging? What would you do? I think uh, there's a slight change in mindset. So for us, we, we look at the packaging and we ask ourselves, what am I going to do with this packaging after I finish with the product? Can I recycle it? Can I reuse it? Or is it just going to end up in the black bin? And if it's going to end up in the black bin, then I look for alternatives. And depending on your lifestyle and, and your budget and how much time you have, you know, there are changes you can make. So for example, I might use uh, a local baker where I could buy bread that doesn't have any packaging at all. And I also go to a local butcher who will put my products in my own reusable container so I don't come home with any packaging. And I've also found a deli who would do that with things like cheese or coleslaw. I can take all my own tubs, they pop it onto the scales, and I, I don't bring home any excess packaging. But that does take longer than just putting everything in one trolley at a supermarket. But at least then you can pop it straight in your fridge and not having to yeah. unwrap things. So yeah. it kind of saves time at your end for yeah. you. Yes, it, it does. And interestingly as well, even though some of the purchases are more expensive, it saves money. Because if I go back to the uh, butcher, if I want just three sausages rather than a pack of eight, mm. then I can buy exactly what I want, which means I don't end up with food waste. And the other thing I've noticed is that buying from a local butcher, um, the produce is fresher and it lasts longer, so it, it doesn't go off before I can use it all. Can we talk briefly about food waste? It is a massive problem for mm -hmm. the County Council, as we've been hearing on the programme. How can you reduce the um, food that you want to throw away? 
I think there are a number of things you can do. The first thing is, if, if you're anything like me, you're a creature of habit. So every week you put the same things in your trolley and often you'll come home and realise that you've actually already got something at home. So before you go shopping, just take a quick inventory. What's in the veg bowl? What's in the fruit bowl? What's in the fridge? And don't buy duplicates. With children, one of the things that we did was, from a very early age, we put the food on the table and dishes asked my daughter to take what she knew she could eat and to finish what she'd eaten and um, then she could go back for more if she wanted it, obviously. But anything that wasn't eaten was then clean and can be put back in the fridge ready for use the next day so you don't get chewed food on the corner of the plate. That's Rachel Strauss <laughs> from Long Hope, who's the founder of Zero Waste Week, which was last week or the week before last. And if you want to have a look at our website, it's myzerowaste.com. Come on, we've all done that.